Hey, Cole, did they ever tell you about that little white speck on top of chicken? <laughs> that that little white speck uh -huh. is chicken too. <laughs> Got him! Yeah. That took about two minutes. Yeah, we should probably net that one. Here's this fatty dude. What are you doing? I can come over there. Nice boat. <laughs> little buckle horn, do it. Oh. That's not good. So much pollen on the boat. I gotta take the cover off and get some gear out of here. I'm not looking forward to getting into this pollen. It's probably gonna have my eyes itching and me sneezing before we even hit the road this morning. What's up, buddies? All right, we're packing light today. Here's what I'm taking with me. I got the chatterbait set up. I got the new Vega frog rod. Got a whopper plopper set up, and I got a setup for pitching and flipping or maybe throwing uh, some smaller swim baits and glide baits, stuff like that, taking a shorter rod for the heavier stuff because I'm gonna be fishing with a buddy today. And so yeah, I think that's the least amount of rods I've ever taken with me anywhere to go fishing, four. That's a record. I'll show you guys what we're working with tackle-wise here. I got a couple extra jackhammers, some swim baits, a Crush 50, uh, extra whopper plopper, Vega frog. That's about it. We're packing light. Hold up, we can't forget. You gotta have that. That's a must have. It's like the American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Almost put a curse on the whole mission. Leave that behind. All right, guys, we're here at the ramp waiting on Ben and Coleslaw to get here. OG out there. OG out there walking the dog. Um, yeah. Not used to being at the boat ramp without June bug. It's, it's weird. Hey. Look who it is. You got the ladder. Ladder on deck. You got the ladder on deck. Dude, that's the little ladder. That's the, the I saw the, I saw the there. big one. What's up, dude? Hey, it's like gonna be literally impossible for us to get in trouble for not paying because we ain't yeah, launching you can't, without you can't, paying. You can't go without putting a fiver in there. <laughs> big cat, what's up? It's good, dude. It's all good. Ben brought the big ladder and the little ladder. All right, well. As you guys already know from the thumbnail and the title of the video, linking up with Ben today, we're going back out there. Is this like, what is this, our eighth or ninth redemption mission? We're not talking about that. Okay, though. me and Ben, we, we haven't ever really got on them like the way we want to get on them, so we're going to try for the 11th or 12th time today to go put a beat down on some dragons, but stoked to be getting back out there with my homie Ben today. Also, shout outs to Cole the Goat, the big cat. We're going to go ahead and hit the water and I'll see you guys out there, hopefully catching some fish with Ben. Let's do it. Einhorn. Here we go again. This is crazy. This is like, I don't know if you guys can see the bottom, but there's boulders everywhere. This is wild. Literally got to sit here and watch where I'm going because this trolling motor is about to crush into a damn boulder. Yeah. You'll hear it. If you hit it, you'll hear it. I'll definitely hear it if it happens. Cole, you could like get out and stand on that boulder. Yeah, Cole's Cole, walking you, on water. You get some shots out here, Cole Flaw. Ninja Cole. Yeah, I had, my, I had to cut this chat off in another setup because I didn't want to bring 36 rods with... <laughs> And Ben's boat. All good. We're gonna throw this Chad on this bad boy, see what happens. Chad Wick. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, let's get chopping. Chopping broccoli. My camera thing situated. You got one of those too? Yeah, this it makes it easier to film things when you have a camera on. Yeah, it was dead of summer, brutal hot. 700 degrees dragging a Carolina rig. Good times. My absolute favorite type of fishing. <laughs> dragging the, I'm trying to drag the dragon. Dragging, <laughs> dragging, dragging for dragon. Oh no, we're dragging for dragons. And every time we get together, there's a new stupid saying that gets invented and there's that one. What well, took about two minutes. Burn this thing around. We're running this one back. Yeah, this is safe for a bass boat. It's cool. Sketchy for if you got a wake boat. But. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be in a kayak here, that's for sure. Freaks are good. Eee! Little buckle horn, do it! Yeah, Eat on, it! I like that. The little squeaker over there. One. Blasted? What is that on? <laughs> it, it's on a Cirque du Soleil. Oh my god. <laughs> that fish is. That guy's Acro, acrobaticals. 
Come on up here, buddy. He's strong. He's, he does not want to. Yeah, he does not want to come to the boat, guys. Timmy, Timmy the current. I'm afraid here. to. I'm afraid to, that you're gonna have to. What are you doing? <laughs> come home. Deal. Let us touch you. Deal. That's not a bad one. Solid little three to start the day. Not bad fish. Hell yeah. Ooh. Yeah, on the spot remover. I like the look of that. What that, about that? That is sharp. That's that heater series. Is that the 7-2 seven seven two two medium, medium heavy mod? Yeah, yeah dude, that's, I my, need to, I that's my chatterbait those. banger right there. You should. I don't I have like a chatterbait rod jig, that I feel is right. So yeah, That one came unglued on. Heck yeah, man. He crushed it. So, first one of the day. Back out here with Ben. Shout out to the MF or Nation. Let's let this fish go, Coleslaw. Boulder fishing with chatter crickets. <laughs> We're dragging chatter crickets through boulders, boys. Yeah, buddy. And got the lucky bird poop on the rod looks like Heck yeah them that's in. what makes him eat it hey cole did they ever tell you about that little white speck on top of chicken <laughs> that that little white speck uh -huh. is chicken <laughs> <shit too. laughs> oh man good times we're on the board let's do it uh. oh now i did it oh we still up there oh i'm still up there oh my god You guys oh. ever have one of those times where you get your, your bait stuck in a tree when you cast? Hey, if you put the trolling motor on 10 Just and blow a plume at them, that gets some smelling that there's food in there. I've area. heard that that's why you catch bed fish. Secret of the pros. <laughs> five minutes. I'm going to get in there with you. I'll snake him. Gee. Oh, yep. yep. Pretty good one, too. Ooh, Ooh, I, just going straight sideways. I just got bumped. I just got bumped. Oh, what is going again. on here? This one might be a giant or a just one. A striper guy. Oh, striper guy. Cool. That's is that cool. a striper? We always striper? catch something funny too, don't we? Last dude. time it was a snake. Now we got... Ah. Oh, they're all around him, dude. Get oh, in there. Huh? They're right here. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him. Got him! Yes! Doubled up with the stripes. <laughs> Doubled up with the stripes. Oh, that is so up. cool. You watching this, Cole? Yeah! <laughs> okay, sick. are these stripers or wipers? They, it could be uh, hybrids, but they're too big to be white bass. No, they're striper. <laughs> I've never caught a striper before. Really? Yeah. Yeah, these are striper. Heck yeah, bro. Flip. Every time I boat flip with a chat, I freaking dude. Off, so. It's bigger than the largemouth I caught, dude. Nice. That's so badass. I've never caught one of these. Aren't they? Oh, yours is fatty, dude. <laughs> Chubbed up. Yours is like the male. Mine's the female. There you go. Yeah. Or something. Sense. They're spawning on bait fish out there. And they'll top. get you with them top ones. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there was two of them, like, just looking at mine with the shad, and, and he flipped in. Yeah, I flipped the, the jackhammer in there. Like, and just uh, grabbed it. Yeah, we left one behind. Are Too bad these, I didn't have another rod. supposed to be really good eating? I can't remember. Regardless, this is my first striper. That's pretty sick. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, it's all right. I'll catch another one. Hold on. <laughs> that is fun. That was a fun fight. Oh, they were both thrashing so fired up. Oh that was sick. Now, if you want to catch those all day, I'm down, bro. <laughs> I didn't know those were in here. That was incredible. They fight a little bit harder than crop of moles. Yeah, slightly. <laughs> Dang, man. That's cool that they're way up here by the spillway, huh? Yeah. Waiting on that, well, waiting on that current. Look at that bait right there. I just saw one blast some bait right here, actually. Dude, that was fun. <laughs> that was cool as hell. We go up here for bed fish, or? We should do everything. This isn't really like a. Ooh, ooh. It's a little hobbit, hobbit trench. Hobbit trench. That was cool, man. Marked a Chad and a jackhammer. <laughs> Those two were just like <laughs> casually swimming next to it. Went over and grabbed that <laughs> jackhammer. Okay, I guess I'll eat that too. That was neat. I'm just burning my jiggle cricket everywhere. Yeah. Wiggling cricket. The quiver, yeah, the quiver, cr quiver cricket. Quiver cricket. Dude, the quiver makes them shiver on that flush, dude. How's it going? What's going on, boss? Catching Catch a couple. We just got here though. What? We just started, but we got a couple so far. I remember last time we were on Lake Austin running towards the dam and I was like, just chilling casually, relaxing, look outside the boat. And I just all of a sudden like see the bottom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we were still, bad. we were still rolling. On one spot under that tree, the magical bug tree. The new man in town, boys. We gotta get these boats out. Get them on the, get them on the floor down there. We're putting these, building these pyramids faster than we can fill them. If they hit this once, it's over with. All we throw the rest of the day at that point. That's when they eat it right there. We don't fish places unless it's super sketchy. It doesn't look like there's anything Ooh. you can't eat. There's a lot of current going this way. 
of the wind and things blasting through the uh... <laughs> All I did was give it a little rip there, bud. Yeah, you got a, had a, weak, a little weak spot I think there. I might have, <laughs> might have had a weak spot in my line. Well, we re-spooled the, the, the jackhammer rig when we get home, guys. Yep. Go ahead. I think the, the it's about had it here. 30 bucks in what, line. Whatever's on here. Jackhammer. Yeah. Gone. Forty-seven dollars later. I don't got time to. Them, I don't got time to lolly gag. Man, I'm just gonna give y'all fair warning, dude. If it's a <laughs> dink or a donkey, they getting blasted in the skull. Deal. I can't. I can't not do it, dude. I don't know how to shut it off. Could go try to catch that bed fish if it's worth it. Probably not, but that was in. Oh! That's not good. That was a no point. That was not ideal. I think we're good though. <laughs> good <Damn>. God. <laughs> Little boulder back there under the water, Cole? Yep. It's right over there. We found it and we marked it. <laughs> ramp. Yeah, they said it's a boat ramp, right? It immediately kicked my trim down. The whole engine went down against its will. So that's fine. Hmm. Hey, June bug's only an hour away, Ben. Done. Last time I was up there, it was good. I probably caught 30 fish. No bigs though. No, no Ben Millies up there. Nothing like what you're after, but no, I mean, just okay. a just a hammer time and and a bunch of guads and got a chance at a, a grand slam out there with the. Course, yeah. the other species i did have a guy uh tell me that i should try using live scope like you so that i could catch some better fish in my most recent video so that really? was cool awesome idea i'm gonna try that yeah. i don't know why i did not I think of that I'll, 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 I'll give her a whirl next time i'm on the water for yeah. a couple minutes yeah. if you read it at all if you read it at all and you're a human there is some sort of an effect you either have to disregard it Absolutely. or or deal with it internally Absolutely. or you can lash out online you know like some people yeah, make a response too. video yeah. you know everybody has their own way of handling yeah. it but the problem is reading it in the first place because as a content creator you want to be interacting with your audience yeah. and you also want to you get a lot of valuable feedback in the Absolutely. comment section. So as you're going through and mining for feedback and mining for interaction, good, 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 boom. Yeah. And that yep. flares out and, it it's, and it's like, why do I remember that comment? Yep. When there's a hundred exactly. comments on there are people telling exactly. me, hey dude, love you. Too busy trying to drag for a dragon, That's man. Right. I ain't got time for no drama, Ben. Bad. There's our boulder right there. Hey it's, bud. Oh, my. It's got a oh, divot it right in, in the Yeah, it does. For our boulder, we marked it. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I never left a, a negative comment from the boat. Yeah, it's probably net that one. Yeah, that's a tank. On the chat. What the heck you said? Ah, that'll work oh man how about that man i saw him on scope right before that he I, my thing was coming up to me he just whoosh, turned around and got it big old girl came up and roasted it uh-huh you bet that's what you come to town for huh man man that's my first large mouth of the day i'm the old chopper get to the chopper done nice. okay we'll post spawn girl probably yeah definitely sweet Ate the chad huh that's fun as hell man that was awesome i turned around at the right moment just in time to see the action good fish probably a lot more up here too what seven something probably yeah. throw on the scale quick seven -ish? Seven -ish. looks like a seven isher to me if i ever seen one seven issue seven issue and a half seven issue and a half yeah. So yeah. and her eyes are huge big old eyeballs long girl e long yeah. girl a little almost eight or seven what is that i can't see seven seven point nine seven nine seven eight seven nine hell yeah brother eh, eh. yahtzee little release guy now that we're hanging out of the rocks and stuff almost eight pounder we decided seven yeah, eight seven, seven nine. nine yeah Big old girl. I'd like to know what she was like before she dumped her eggs. But that's a thick one. We'll take her out. Beautiful after fish, too. too. Come on, girl. There she goes. Awesome. That's the way to get it started, dude. dude. Heck yeah. Dragon in the boat. Yes. Well, all right, let's go home.
I ain't had a net of fish for somebody else in a minute, if ever. That was weird. I was like, I hope I don't screw this up. That's so much fun when you watch a fish like that eat. Stop the chop, the chop. <laughs> Keep it chopping. All I know is you better have some water lands on. You're out here throwing these glides. Eyewear, crucial. And for bed fishing, obviously, but for the for the glides, it definitely. It's always important to have a chance to see into the water. All right, this is a perfect opportunity for me to segue here and tell you guys about the new water lands that just dropped. They have these new camo frame styles, new lens colors and they're awesome. This is my first pair that I got in right here and I love them. I've been wearing them out on the water, testing them out. Aside from the awesome looks, I love the camo. The, the gold lens is money out on the water. They really protect you from the bright glare of the summer sun. There are a few other styles that are also really awesome. I have them on the way as well, but I wanted to show you guys these really quick and let you know that if you wanna get your hands on some of these new frames, I would do it quickly because they're moving fast. Waterlandco.com and if you wanna support the channel while you scoop, your pair of angler born quality built polarized lenses. No joke guys, these are the best sunglasses that I've ever worn in my life. You can use my code JR15. That's gonna save 15% off these bad boys. I believe they are the most competitively priced and highest quality polarized fishing optics that you can buy, period. Check them out, dude. Waterlandco.com, the new camo heaters, money. I'm rocking these glass millikins right now. Are you? Yep. We're in a, a honey hole of Straight reptilians. Hole. Well, yeah, this is, sorry. Yeah. yeah, sorry, Ben. I told you it wasn't any good in here. Yeah, Should have listened to me. I was just about to have your back on that. Pull, pull push off, snap. Yeah, the USA series, they break. Not that heater series, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, there you go, putting your foot on my deck again. Oh, yeah. Like oh, I hate to get, to get a walking. footprint on this pristine boat oh scratched the side when you got in i saw i think i scratched Both the bottom sides. accidentally while i was yeah. riding with y'all earlier my extra weight in the boat caused us to run aground a little bit I'm not used to that, you know? it's gonna be a good time for the people on youtube either way Correct. about that somebody's gonna get some I enjoyment out of this what you want is a oh there's a carp on a bed and then mm. oh wait a minute whoa, <laughs> that's what whoa, whoa. that's what you want don't worry, bro. At least when you fall off the ladder here, you're not going to freeze to death. That's true. We're just going to scoop down, pick you right back up, yeah. and we'll keep fishing. Oh, yeah. Snap bone definitely adds a little bit of flavor to the situation. I've been through a couple of those. Oh, man. Yeah, here in the crunch. That That's a very graphic statement. If you've ever heard the crunch, I can hear the crunch right now. Ugh. I don't want to hear that. Brutal. Not, not. Dude, no, you do not want to hear that. <laughs> they made me sit at home for three days Ooh. waiting for surgery. And all I could hear was the crunch. Right Yes, of bone to bone grinding. Yahtzee, uh, I'm I'm just curious where you picked that up. Because I'm like, man, I know these don't play Yahtzee. So you're wrong. <laughs> Cole said that. What's wrong with Yahtzee, Justin? <laughs> Nothing. I have played it many a time. I'm just I'm just sitting there thinking, like, man, I know Ben's not like a Yahtzee fan. I was gonna say that's where you got it from, isn't it? Because you were beating your family so much. Okay. Playing sorry just requires you to roll the dice and hope for the best. Yeah, game of chance, game of total chance, 100% victory in the wife's favor. Like poker, it's both. Right. You gotta be smart and have fate on your side. Yeah, my brother had this handheld Yahtzee game mm. when we were kids, man. I was more into woods. They were up there, like straight up from the bushy stuff. Yeah, about five feet towards us, though. We're about to be under attack. Old Mother Goose here. Stuart, get back! We don't want no trouble. But man, that one, that one that I sat on, if you saw her, you'd spend way more time on her. You'd, you'd, you'd sit there until we ran out of daylight. I, I've, I'm confident in saying that. That, I would love to, Ben. Nothing would make me happier. I want to catch it on a Cinco. Dang it. Oh, sure. Safe. Safe and sound here, boys. There were some pretty gnarly ones uh, like 20 miles north of us earlier. Oh, eh. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're going to get hit. Uh, when? Soon. You should try Pam, Pamela Optics like Ben Milliken. That's what they said. And I know the guy probably didn't mean nothing by it, but it's just funny. I'm like, all right, dude. I will definitely take that into consideration next time I'm on the water and just 
not looking at my live scope. I better look at that. Dang bed fish that don't eat are the same as followers on a swim bait. No it's the same thing. Hey, you know, if I don't go in and pay, I'm gonna be in a world of hurt. If I steal this gas right now, boys, I'm gonna be in trouble, so I better go in and pay. <laughs> you, and, you and the rest of us as well, sir. Hey, it was the most entertaining part of the video, if I may say so myself. It's not ideal. We're dead in the water, boys. These are those little unexpected moments out here on the water, you know, when your boat dies and won't start. Yeah, it's, it's good times. It's not right. we're like ten miles from the wall. Not so the we'll be good. not the first time that uh, I've been in this situation. Believe it or not, we'll probably be okay. Got some weather rolling in. I think we'll die probably. Ben caught an eight, so hey. Um, oh, hey, she acted like she wanted. She acted like she wanted the, to think about the it. Thing there. On it. I just don't think nothing's charged either. We could charge that off of our power banks. The jump starter guy. We could hook three of my eight hundred miles. <laughs> I'll let you How guys know. How many miles can we put on that thing? We haven't caught a fish in <laughs> four hours and 13 minutes, it says. I'll update you guys whenever uh, we either get struck by lightning or get the boat started. How's it going? Yeah, we're doing all right. Any chance you could jump start our boat for us? We got jumper cables, but our engine battery is dead. Do you have jumper cables? We do, yeah. We never jumped anything from this, but I guess we could. Is it easy to access the battery at all? Well, if we could get a jump, we'd really appreciate it. We're way that we're launched about 10 miles away, oh, so man. yeah, I don't know. I'll just let her get going first and then we'll figure our side out. If that makes sense, right? I can come over there if it I makes if, if it makes you uh, more comfortable for me to. Nice boat. Thanks. All right. I've got a buoy here. We can kind of. Well, at least you've got a little motor thing. You got the trolling motor. He, I, I, I believe he'll do a pretty good job of keeping us from bumping into each other. How y'all doing today? <laughs> We're fine. Glad to hear it. We just trying to find a place out of the wind. They got these blue top up? Optimas over here, Ben. They're gonna get us running. Yeah, usually I put it on some kind of. All right, uh, these are hot guys, so don't touch them to your teeth. <laughs> don't lick them. I'll try not to. Thanks, Justin. Yes, sir. We got the camera set up. Yeah, oh, we're yeah, trying to we... film some fishing here, but you know, <laughs> we got a little sidetracked. We got a little sidetracked. We sure appreciate y'all. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, let me start it up. Justin, we hold this up. Yes, sir. I just want to make sure. Yeah, starting it would probably be a good idea. I don't want to wreck it. Pull from it. Anyway. She she purring over here, boys. You give her just a just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> good deal. All right. well, thank, thank you very much, much guys. Y'all uh y'all saved us today. Y'all done y'all's good deed, and we sure appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. Absolutely. I promise you we'll do that. Have y'all caught anything? Yeah, we, we caught a few, yeah. What? That's awesome. It's not a lie. We, we, we document everything. So do y'all work for a company or are y'all just doing this for, like, why are you documenting everything? Six Sense Fishing, I guess, would be the company that we're associated with. I have that says Six Sense. Yep, okay. Yep. Six Sense Fishing. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to go right over here if that's yeah. okay. Thank y'all so much. Y'all the best. Check me out on YouTube. You might see your boat. Y'all have a good one. Cole, get your freaking live vest. Ain't nothing to it for a stepper. Just another day on the water. Another day. Okay, y'all didn't notice we got the boat started. Here we go. We're going to try. It's started. Let's, let's go catch a fish. Let's go. All right. If you can catch a rope, you can catch a bass or something. Or if you can catch a bass, you can catch a rope. Sure. <laughs> if you can catch a rope once, you can catch it twice like I just did. That would have been gnarly. 
Start and we got to uh, Dukes of Hazard, a boulder. We did hit a boulder. We tested the structural integrity of the mercury oh, yeah. lower on. unit. Well, you're always welcome aboard mine. I owe, I owe you a couple trips, man. We'll come right back to this spot and we'll ramp mine over that boulder if it makes you feel better, bro. <laughs> Cole, what kind of boat you running this year, man? I'm gonna get a bird. How about how about our, our man ZK all day getting himself a bird? Oh. Yeah, good for Zach, man. He he, he deserves it, man. Yes, that boy. He does. he does the dirty work. He does, the man. Too. Deals with our asses. Yeah, Zach takes good care of me, man. That's my brother from another. Oh shit, wife and asking if I'm alive. He did cross that one on Chatterbait this morning. And well, I mean, I ain't doing no good on the glides. Then you put it down for a couple hours. Got one on Chatterbait, put it down for seven hours. I rode with it a little He's bit back. longer. But. <laughs> it's just now starting to turn on. Here it is, by heating up. See, this is what I'm talking about. How if we? Oh, is that it's a, a guad? guad? Yes, it is. Yes. That's a nice guad too, dude. Crushed a guad. That's my first ever. Yeah. I didn't get one awesome, with you when dude. we were at Travis. And that's a decent one too, man. He's probably a pound and a half. Dude, that thing is vicious as hell. This is a Guadalupe bass. State fish of Texas. State fish of Texas. They don't exist hardly anywhere, but Colorado else, River system. Yeah, it's a state fish. Yeah. I thought it was Cheryl Lunker bass, but I guess not. Nope. Little bitty mean guy. Pretty cool though. Look how big that fish is compared to the bait. He's eating too. Hungry little dude. Sweet. Awesome. They got that small mouth uh, mentality. We've been having so many followers and just... <laughs> all I had to do was pick up a jackhammer so Ben could go on. Yeah, you really <laughs> brought that fish in. Fire. Bucket list stuff out here with Jay Royal. Come out here and spend eight hours catch you That's catch right. you one. Hey, we're just dragging and bagging out here, dragging man. And dragging for dragging. Bebop. We've got a bebop on, guys. Let's give it our give it the old college try. Uh, uh, little, little mark from where we hit the boulder. That'll buff out though. We're probably gonna be alright. All right, dudes, back around the house now. Shout outs to Ben and Cole for coming to town. Let me tag along, get out there on a little fishing mission. We didn't get the redemption that we were hoping for in this one, but the day was filled with excitement nonetheless. As you guys saw there, we ramped Ben's boat over a boulder and uh, blasted a good gnarly little hole in the front of his lower unit. No worries, Ben will get that all taken care of and he'll be back on the water in no time. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's already back out there fishing off of that boat. Dude is hardcore. He did not let it slow him down a bit. We jumped that boulder and continued fishing for the rest of the day. We just weren't able to get on him, but I always have fun out there with Ben. Good times, good laughs, good conversation. Once again, thank you and shout outs to him and the big cat Cole for letting me hang out with them aboard the boat today and for letting us use some of their footage. Once again, you guys are interested in checking out these shades, waterlandco.com, JR15 for 15% off. And as always, shout outs to the JR10 Army, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 for 10% off everything on the website. You guys want to support the channel? Support me, support Six Cents. We could not do what we do without them. And best believe the JR10 Army continues to overwhelm us with support. We could not do it without you guys either. So thank you for the love and support. I appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, but I'll see you on the next one. I'm back on my grind, man. I'm banging out videos left and right. Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. It's only gonna get better from here. Who's up there? Cougar and Merlin, African Goose.